I am so excited to hear the National Lutheran Choir perform this piece by Kim Arneson. I think of my music as uh, music that speaks to the heart and soul. A few words into the conversation, I knew he totally understood what we were doing, totally understood the significance of this. It was just so exciting because it was a brilliant combination of emotion and musical craft. He writes in a way that is um, so beautifully interpreted by the National Lutheran Choir. The National Lutheran Choir is one of the absolutely best choirs here and it's just a big honor for me to, to be a part of that. Kim understands us. What he does is naturally what National Lutheran Choir singers gravitate to and that's these lush gorgeous lines. I think it's just a coming together of spirits. We've been working on the Commission of Holy Spirit Mass for a number of months now, um, in fact almost two years, and this season is opened by the performance of Holy Spirit Mass, which asks us to think about Reformation and the ongoing Reformation, not just of the Church, but of all of us, I believe, as people. The last portion of 2017 brings to a close the year that we commemorate 500 years since Martin Luther questioned the church. This is the first Reformation anniversary that takes place in an ecumenical age, which means that much of the bitterness of the past is in the past, and this is something that can be done together with Lutherans and Catholics. The past 50 years, Lutherans and Roman Catholics have been working towards coming back together in whatever ways we can. We need to begin with that which we have in common. And what we've always had in common is song. I've been always wanting to, to write the Mass. I, I've been singing in a choir as a child, in a boys' choir, and performed many big works, Masses, by, by great composers, and always wanted to do it. Just I hadn't found the, 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 my approach to it yet. We were thinking uh, and had talked to several composers and things uh, were moving along but just hadn't quite come to any conclusion or gelling. One Saturday morning he woke up very early, went down to his office and started looking on the internet. As I did that, there was this pop-up about Kim Andre, Andre Arneson. I then went to, to his site and learned that he was a contemporary Norwegian composer I had written a lot of sacred music, I listened to a Magnificat that had been commissioned by the Trondheim Cathedral. And as I listened to it, it was just totally compelling to me. I was upstairs still sleeping, but when I woke up, I thought honestly that I heard angels singing. I got up, went down to the office, and there was Gary sitting at his computer, and he had tears just streaming down his face because he was so touched by the music. A few words into the conversation, I knew he totally understood what we were doing, totally understood the significance of this. When this uh, idea came up to write uh, a Holy Spirit Mass in commemoration of the Reformation, I thought that it was a very exciting approach to it. The Mass is a term that church people use to imply the whole act of Holy Communion, the whole worship service. These songs were sung week after week after week so that ordinary people could sing them. Both Lutherans and Catholics deeply appreciate the Mass. It's something we both share. An interesting facet to this commissioned work is that it includes the song to the ordinary the church has always sung, paired with a hymn composed by Martin Luther himself, which adds prayer on behalf of the people. I knew I also wanted to add some new text to the Mass I was going to write and that was also the idea behind this. So I think it's first of all a very important reason why we are doing it and I think it's a quite unique approach to setting a Mass so, so that's very exciting. Kim Arneson is a wonderful artistic partner for this project. He is absolutely rocketing to international choral stardom right now, and it's a, just a privilege for us to work with him. As the manuscripts for each movement arrived one by one, I would sit at the piano or just hear it in my head, and um, it was just so exciting because it was a brilliant combination of emotion and 
musical craft. So he knows how to weave lines together where they're each important and it's not just clusters of chords in ways that just make the words come to life. I focus a lot on the text and try to find what the text is saying and what does that sound like. The other thing about Kim Andre Arneson that I've appreciated is that he's not just a composer, and that's not belittling composers, it's that he, as a church person himself, understands what's underneath the music. And that is something that the National Enquirer always gravitates to. They look for that spirit. When I enter a church, I quite quickly get into a, a spiritual mood, and I call it a spiritual room that I think all of us have. What I want to, to happen with the music that uh, it invites the listener to their own spiritual room. So for those wanting to go a deeper level of the spirit, like the National Enquirer singers do, uh, it's there. Singing in the National Enquirer for me, it opens me windows into the presence of God. When we sing with other people and with each other, it gives me hope, it gives me life. It fills a part of my soul that isn't filled anywhere else. I'm excited to sing this new music and bring it to new audiences. When we feel the Holy Spirit in us, we're bringing that word to the people. Spirituality is a key component of the National Lutheran Choir. It's all part of, of what the mission of the National Lutheran Choir is. Perhaps this year of the 500th anniversary might be the beginning of a new time between Lutherans and Catholics and really Christians around the world to understand what connects us as opposed to what divides us. It's poignant that music has always been a uniting thing for all Christians. I'm excited to see how this music and the places where we're going to sing it and the people with whom we will sing it will maybe be a part of that conversation and that invitation.